Hey guys, there was a time in my life where I was making what I would consider pretty decent money. But yet, even though I was making decent money, I was at a stage where maybe you get your check, a little time is gone, you have nothing left. And it wasn't making any sense to me. And I happened upon, i seen it many times, but I never bothered to read it. Just out of curiosity, I started reading Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And it flipped a switch. It spoke about having assets instead of liabilities. And it spoke about bringing in money instead of putting money out. So it, swept, it, it flipped the switch for me. It didn't really tell me what channels I was going to use to go about acquiring that money. But it sort of flipped the switch for me that I had to find one. And so... There was something that was said in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which I'm going to repeat to you guys right now. Um, I can't remember the exact cities that he used in his example, so I'm going to make two cities up. And those cities are going to be New York and Los Angeles. Now, if you had to go to Los Angeles and you had to get there for whatever reason and you were going to drive, it would take you one day and 17 hours to drive from New York to Los Angeles. But what if you didn't have a day and 17 hours to spare? Or what if you didn't want to sit in a car for a day and 17 hours and spend that much money on gas? Well, there's another option. And the other option is flying. The flight time from New York City to Los Angeles is five hours and 50 minutes. So, would you rather spend a day and 17 hours in a car getting where you wanna go, or five hours and 50 minutes in a plane? And if I ask you guys that question, Obviously, most of you would say, I'd rather fly. But yet, when it comes to your own finances, you guys would rather drive. And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is, I ha I'm up to 8,000 subscribers on YouTube in four months time right now and growing. And I feel that's because I'm offering value to people and I'm offering value to people that can help them grow their finances significantly. We've had options that have hit 20% in a few weeks, 40% in a few weeks, 100% a in, a, in a month's time. But yet, at the same time, when I create a Patreon channel where the fee is $25 for a month, you guys are reluctant to sign up for something that can make your money grow by 100% in a month. So now, I just want to take a venture back, 
so we can look at some of the things that have happened since I've started this series, which is this week's option picks. And we know we started with the SPY. It was moving down that week. So I bought a put, a protective put. I bought it for $974.66, sold it five days later for $977.33 because the market didn't go down as expected. I didn't lose money on the put. I actually gained $2.67, a 0.27% gain. Next, I got Hershey. Hershey, I bought it on January 8th for $1,236.66. Didn't like the way it was moving. So I sold it on the 11th, three days later, for $1,049.33. Hershey would later come back to move up where I could have been 20% profitable if I'd have held longer. But with options, they move very quickly. So if they're going down, I don't like to stick around. In any event, next, on January 12th, on January 12th, I got 10 option contracts on UUP. It was 99.66 for one, 950.94 for the other nine, approximately around $1,050. I didn't like the way that the bid and the ask were moving or that the bid price was moving which is the price you could sell for. So I sold this six days later for $1,263.36 and still ended up with a gain of $212.76. That's 20.25%. Now bear in mind, guys, not only am I telling you this, I'm actually showing you the screenshots and you can go back in the playlist and look through the videos because everything that I bought I told you guys either the same day or the next day that I was buying it so that you can take advantage of the same choice to buy it and make money yourselves next we had young China I bought young China on January 23rd for $953.32. Sold it on February 9th for $1,338.66. That was two option contracts. I made $384.34 or 40.42% on that in a couple of weeks. Humana. Humana at the time, I didn't have the chance to buy the option because there were other things in my brokerage account, so I didn't have the available funds to buy it. But what I did buy, which you can see from the bottom, was seven shares of Humana. That's all I had available in my account to buy. In any event... I told you, even though I didn't have the money to buy it, I told you guys about Humana. At the time, this was January 26. I had, um, the, I'm sorry, Humana was $2,650 for an option expiring on May 17th with a 360 strike price. I would later come back to tell you guys, maybe about a week or two later, that if you had bought Humana at that time, you would have had a 20% $530 profit if you sold at the bid price and 
a 50% $1,325 profit if you sold at the mint price. Well, Humana has dropped again and even further, so there may be another opportunity with Humana. Then APD, Air Products and Chemicals. I told you guys about air products and chemicals and gosh, I don't recall the date, but it was a June 21st option with a $220 strike price. That was around three weeks ago. Oh, that was February 9th. Well, now, Air Products and Chemicals has moved up. It's $239. So, even though it cost, where was the cost basis? It cost $1,320.66 to buy this option for air products and chemicals now on March 5th, from February 9th to March 5th, air products and chemicals is $1,364.34 in profit. Or in other words, the total option for air products and chemicals increased from $1,320.66 to $2,685. So as of now, we are 103.31% on air products and chemicals. So now the last ones we got was MGP ingredients. That one I bought before the earnings report, took a second thought and got rid of it before the earnings report dropped, knowing how dangerous that could be, and only took a dollar thirty three loss. Zero point fourteen percent. But then after it started to go back up, I picked it up for $735.66 on the 23rd, but it wasn't moving up. So on the 27th, I sold it for $580.34. That was a $155.32 loss, 21.11%. So guys, I have dropped today my option pick for this month at this point on the youtube channel there will only be one option pick a month so good luck with you guys on that if you like driving the car rather than getting places faster by taking the plane good luck with this month's option pick but i've already dropped the option pick for this month I also dropped in the Patreon channel for those who like getting there faster six potential option plays for March 5th of 2024 where it has HAE but it has other potential option plays five of us as well. Now this week's option picks As you know, it will still be coming out every week inside of the Patreon channel with all of my option picks inside of there. You can find the Patreon channel by going to the YouTube channel, Uncle Dwayne's Watch List. And here is the link to get to the Patreon channel. And once you go in the Patreon channel, you have this week's option picks it will only be 25 dollars a month 
first free first seven days are free and this week's stock winners as usual will still be on the youtube channel you can still find it there so guys if i come out a little harsh in this video i apologize i just wanted to give you guys a little encouragement take your money seriously i mean you're trying to do things the free way but it's not adding to you it's costing you so just a little encouragement from uncle Dwayne. in any event guys you have a great night and i look forward to speaking to you in the next video